We will speak to you now. Hello. We are of the Octorian people. Mm, welcome. So nice to meet with you today. We are, are not the Octorians from Grikviknir. Oh. But we okay. are Octorians nonetheless. Mm, Octorus seats many Octorians. You have questions about our healing centers. Yes, we, we pushed, were. We sorry. pushed Grindle aside so that we could bring our message. Yes, we were asking about the uh, vibrational recalibration center that's available to the humans when they call upon it for realignment of their light bodies. Could you tell us more about that and other healing things that are available? Yes. First of all, it comes free. It is no charge. There is no consequence. One moment. Uh, it's difficult to get into this body. We can take an extra moment. The recalibration centers work on the blueprint of your body. You are born with a blueprint in your body. Some of it is perfect. Other parts are not. We check this first when recalibrating and healing. If healing is available, it will be given. If healing is not available, it cannot be given. We cannot override the blueprint. Do you understand? So if persons have otherwise agreed or contracted for certain experiences, no matter how much they want to transmute the experience, if they have agreed to it, they will go through it nonetheless. Correct. Unless they have changed their contract beforehand. Now, your belief system must be intact that you must realize that we are there. We have appeared to many. But if you do not believe that this can happen, it will not happen. You understand. Okay, so call then upon us and we will come. Because when you call us, is it not part of your belief system that if you ask for something, it will be given? So if you call us, there is some belief in us or in the process that we can help. Okay, I was informed about the vibrational recalibration center that it needed to be spoken in those exact words and it must be intended at just an exact time. Is that still true or can anybody call upon the center any way they feel drawn? Using exact terminology is not very human. However, the closer to that exact terminology that is used, the greater the outcome of our contact. We are vi vibrationally in tuned to that particular phrase. All right, so I just wanted it to be clear if that's how that was, that it's called... Please use that Make that known, that we are vibrationally in tune to that phrase and vibrationally in tune as we have spoken and as you have spoken. We ourselves can speak to you in any form that we wish about vibration and calibration, but when calling us, 
please be precise. Right. The words I were given were the vibrational recalibration center. That and is to, correct. And to do that with intent, and it comes instantaneously. It does. All right. Thank you for that. What other questions? I uh, have one question from Member Will. Member Will has been a little sick lately, and he's wondering why he is still sick. Is there something we can do for Will or something Will can do to alleviate his uh, sickness condition? Let me attach to him. Will he call upon our vibrational system? I believe he is listening and will if you will call the vibrational recalibration center. And then the problem him. will be eradicated if it oh. is not contractual. Okay, thank you. Will, listen to my voice. Your vibration is slightly off kilter. We will put it back into its original format. There is a heart matter that is causing problems as well. Not a physical heart, spiritual heart. A confusion. A misunderstanding. It will be aligned and you will feel healthier. Continue. There Hello. are many. Yeah, go oh. ahead, Ella. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Hello there. Um, I have several questions as well. And the first one comes in from Christy, who was in our room with us and had to drop. But she would like to know if there are any chances for her to open a spiritual learning center somewhere in Nevada. Of course. Do you have the means by which to open this center? Your dreams can be realized. Do not worry. If this is to be, it will happen, and you will already be finding clues to how to start it. Your foundation and thought process must be realized. It must have a good foundation. Yes. She would also request, if, you're, if it's possible, a full healing and balance for her autistic son. Can he call us? I'm sure she can have him call you, yes. Have him call us. Ah, autistic. Get your shop. Call us. With uh, no specific thing in mind, just call the Arcturians, or is there a specific Use group? the verbiage that was given. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Miracles Michelle? can happen on your planet. Mm -hmm. Things will be different in the future. Your world is changing. We are here to facilitate some of these changes. Your governments do not help you. We will help you to maintain your health so that you may rise in your vibrations in ways that you cannot when you are unhealthy. Your attitudes will change. Your example will change. So be it. Thank you. Michelle? Beautiful. Hi, how are you today? 
Much love. I am well. I am glad. Um, I, there was a time a few months ago where I felt certain that I had Arcturian energy, a lot of it, like working on me, on the left, my left side. Um, and I really enjoyed that energy. Actually, first I should ask, am I accurate in that assessment? Yes, but it was not us. But we, we have ascertained that there are remnants of Arcturian energy within your body. Yes, so um, I am kind of trying with my, I'm starting to feel uh, energy. I'm trying to develop the skill of feeling energy and picking up energy signatures. Um, and I know, or I've been told that um, Arcturians make up the bulk of my lifetimes. I don't know if that's accurate, but um, I would like, I enjoy Arcturian energy. Let me put it that way. So how would one, do you have any advice for um, you are a natural similar. conductor. You you are a natural conductor for Octorian energy. So therefore, it will be with you whenever you want it. Our energy will come to you as well if you so de desire. Make yeah. sure you say it correctly, and it will come. Okay. Um. I think that's all. Thank you so much. Much love. Much love to you. It is hard being in this body. Is it all right if we leave? Well, Before we you a few more questions, if you could hang around for just a couple more minutes, we would really appreciate it. Very well. Awesome. Yes, Emmy has a question for you. She asks um, if there are any messages from the ETs that have been hanging around her, mostly Arcturians. Yes. She is developing more gifts, new gifts, and these are going to be helped by the Arcturians that are around her. She is discovering energies within herself that were never realized before. Also, her joy level is becoming apparent. She is coming out of a low self-esteem and becoming a greater individual and we are pleased for her. She is very important to your world. Mm, that's beautiful. Thank you for your message so much. And now Bianca has a question as well, and she would like to know if there are any messages for her personally. Bianca. Yes. One moment, please. There are energies around her that are very much protecting her. I must get through them to find the answer to her question. Ah. There is much light coming in. A realization, a new beginning, something of this nature, that is what I can see only. They are not giving me enough specific, but she will learn soon what it is. Mm, very well. Ray, would you like to go? Ray. Ray. Mm, she says on the chat here. Oh, go ahead, Ray. Can you talk? 
Are you talking yet? Uh, hello? Is it working yet? Okay. Yes, I hear a voice. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I had keyboard troubles. Um, okay, before I ask my question, I want to ask a very innocent question. Why do you sound so slow for an Arcturian? Is it the uncomfortability in the body? The uncomfortability is because we are coming from a great distance. Mm -hmm. And at this particular time, there is other energies that are trying to inhabit the body. And so we are keeping them at bay. And that is taking a lot of our energy away from the communication. Thank you. All right. So, um, but thanks for being here. Thank you. About the um, recalibration centers, um, can it help me in my dream state, possibly astral as well, uh, where I've been feeling a lot of stagnation? Um, I think I'm just like hanging out in one chakra, which is just not getting anywhere. And I've tried lucid dreaming, I remember lucid being lucid in a dream and just feeling really down, like, what do I do? <laughs> kind of, like... Call on us. <laughs> we can change that Maybe. vibration. Awesome. Yeah. It is partially okay. because there is third dimensional energy around you that is keeping you at bay. Mm, that but may we be can part cut of the contractual through this, stuff. We can cut through this vibrational energy. Mm, I'd like to be clear on which of it is me and which of it is contractual, because I am aware that some of it may be family family related, but then which part is me? So I'll, I'll 40 keep percent, that intention. 40% is family related. Thanks. And... 40% is related to you as well. There is another 20% that is unknown until we get there. I can work with that. Thank you. That's all from me. Excellent. May I ask what people can do to call upon the Arcturian energy? So many people are calling and asking to connect what they can do to connect personally. Do you have information for them that will handle those masses? If they believe that they can contact us, they will be able to. We will not turn anyone down. Not unless they are contractually bound. We have already stated this. Have them use the correct verbalization because there is vibrational correctness to it and therefore if they use it correctly it will be done for them as they wish wonderful thank you for so much for that we have one last question from Christopher then we need to allow you to move on. Thank you. Hello. This is Christopher here. Christopher. Hello. Uh, my question please, um, have I an Arcturian connection please? I could not hear you. Have I an Arcturian connection please? You want an Octorian connection, is that what you Do want? I have one, please? Ah, oh, do you have one? One moment, Thank please. You. I will connect with you directly. There is a star seed connection with you for Octorian. The names of two individuals from Octorus has come to mind. Fenchata and Turkarina. Hmm. 
Mm, very well. Um, before you leave, can we please ask if anyone there in the room has any questions for you, just quickly, if you don't mind? There is not any questions here. Mm, very there well. is another to come in at this time. Greetings. Hello. I am still here. Oh, I'm sorry. Namaste. We appreciate you coming today. Be well. Mm, thank you. Thank you again. <laughs>